Hello there, Haseki Nation. I'm Dolly, and chapter 98 is for now the last chapter of Land of the Lustrous. Everywhere, I have seen fans of the manga outraged over the outcome of Fo's decision. In this video, I will tell you why false fulfillment chose forgiveness. First, let's go through the history of our beloved protagonist. Phosphophyllite is the protagonist of Land of the Lustrous. They are referred to as lazy and weak, not being able to fight because of how brittle they are, and not caring so much for work. Throughout the entire series, they have been maimed, broken apart, taken advantage of, tortured, traumatized, and slowly their body has been replaced limb by limb with other materials. Their family, the gems, have never been kind to them. Except for Euclase, Diamond, Yellow Diamond, and Paparacha, the older gems. All of the other gems are... not so kind to the little one. Board calls them a piece of slag. Cinnabar calls them three and a half, even though they're hardness of two. Morganite doesn't take foes seriously, as we see in the first few chapters and the first episode of the anime. The King Ventricosis of the Admirabilis lured foes into the ocean under a false sense of hope for finding Cinnabar a job only to backstab them and try to trade them to the Lunarians. You just said, huh? <laughs> Thankfully, King Ventricosis had a heart and decided not to trade them. The Lunarians snap Fos' family almost every day, meaning the gems live in constant fear of being taken away. They took away Fos' only friend, Antarctosite, during winter. When Fos went to the moon, the prince, Acmea, shredded up a piece of Antarc's eye to manipulate Fos further. The Lunarians harvest the gems to sprinkle them around the moon to make the moon glow. There, Fos learns all of the secrets that Sensei has been hiding from them and the other gems. In chapter 96, the gems are turned into Lunarians and seem to care less about foes. Cinnabar admits that they feel bad for not thinking about them. Antarcticide kind of shows that they don't care, but that's only because Sensei misinformed them. The only gem we see actually care is Euclase, asking if there's any way to make foes less lonely on Earth. Foes has suffered a multitude of unimaginable things, so why would foes choose to forgive them? To forgive everyone, even Acmea. In chapter 97, we are introduced to a new, probably old, character named Dr. Yumu, or as Sensei called her once, Professor, in a memory dream Fos is having from Sensei's past. Dr. Yumu is Sensei's mom, or the person who built and created Sensei. She's very disheveled, and her ribs are open, and we find out she's been tinkering with her body to preserve herself, most likely to make sure Sensei understands his purpose, or maybe so he doesn't get lonely. She also likes chips. During this chapter, she goes on to discuss her feelings about the human race, or the truth of the human race. She even admits that she's ashamed to be human. This could also be interpreted as Ichikawa's view on humankind as well. Maybe Dr. Yumo is a self-insert. They do look a little similar. Everything here Dr. Yuma says is very significant, and perhaps it influenced Fos in some way. Look at Fos here. Now look at Fos here. What do you see? Here Fos looks human, and here Fos does not look human. In chapter 88, Acmea says that vengeance is the most human emotion. In the previous chapters, we see that Fos has finally become human through this emotion. In chapter 98, 10 chapters later, Fos chooses forgiveness. But why? You see, Fos is no longer human, and they have shed every part of what made them human. The legs from the flesh, the eye of the spirit, the body of bone. They are now above human. They are a god. If the most human emotion is vengeance, then the most inhuman emotion is forgiveness. They are pure again like they were from the start. This forgiveness they bestowed upon their followers hurts them, especially Akamiya who was the cause of all this torture. You see here in his face all of the guilt that he had suppressed rises up. The forgiveness from someone he has hurt for so long has probably made him realize how much of an awful person he is. In Sensei's face there is also guilt. In a way, Sensei also used foes. 
he too wants to become nothing. Living was too much for him. He also had to be alone for millions of years. Throughout the past 10,300 years, Fos has been alone. They were alone from the start, and they were alone now. Even surrounded by those who now worship them, they are still alone. In granting their followers wishes, they will grant their own wish too. They deserve to become nothing. Going back to chapter 88, we see this was all part of Acme's plan. He wanted Fos to become human, but he also wanted them to become more. He wanted Fos to become greater. So he made Fos into a god, a god that can forgive even the cruelest beings just like himself. Hello there, Hoseki Nation. Thank you for making it to the end. I'd like to say thank you so much for 500 plus subscribers. The nation has been growing since I've been writing <clears throat> this script. I've been super busy lately fighting off of cold assignments and after school activities. I'm sorry this took a while. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe in the future I'll make more analysis videos on Line of the Lustrous. Can you guess who I'll be making it on next? Bye bye!